Hi Cancer, what's up? Welcome to your October reading. I hope you guys are having the best day. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for all of your love and your support. I'm so grateful that we're having this moment together. And also my channel just hit 58,000 subscribers the other day. I'm so, 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 so thankful. I'm so blessed to have you part of this community. Um, we're gonna be seeing what messages need to come through for you guys. Get some insight, get some guidance. Overall, see what's going on in October, what you can expect get some insight just see what the messages are see what spirit wants you to look out for all right um private readings are available in the description box down below if you like to book and if this reading is helpful if you enjoy leave a like subscribe comment down below let me know how this resonates tell me about your situation how you're feeling how are you doing cancer i hope you're having a fantastic day Let's get into this. So your first card out here, we do have the black egg. There is something about speaking the truth, communication. Ooh, he gave me a little stack. We're going to take it though. Lately, I've been just rocking with it. Spirit's been giving me stacks, but they're very interesting messages. So I can't really ignore it. Um, there is this truth here. You've been sitting on, you've been keeping quiet. You've been being very like reserved. You've been really just like pondering thinking sitting observing you've been quiet you've been kind of quiet here but you've been observing also someone's actions or you've been really taking a closer look at what is really going on you've been listening noticing this card with the lamb his ears like his ears are pointing out, he's listening, he's picking up for clues, picking up for details, picking up for, you know, anything he might not be noticing or missing. It's like you're really reading between the fine lines. It's like listening to what someone is saying through their body language, through, you know, talk is one thing, but also talk can be cheap. So, you know, if you're listening to a conversation, <laughs> are you eavesdropping? <laughs> some of you um that you might be picking up on some sort of like information through like word of mouth or through like somebody that maybe it's a friend of a friend or a family member i don't know i am kind of getting like someone could be eavesdropping or like you are or that's just a specific message as well but anyways um let me just take a peek at what other cards came out before i actually dive into this the lamb the black egg sea serpent okay wow deep feminine energy as well as there's a cycle here that has been playing out i see you're taking a break from this we have the crocodile we also have the dragon so you got oh wow <laughs> wow this is trippy we have three spirit cards there's only seven of these cards in this entire animal spirit deck the wild unknown animal spirit by kim kranz she's talented she's amazing there's only seven of these cards we have the throat chakra highlighted we have the solar plexus we also have the sacral highlighted all three of these chakras are connected to this situation and it's interesting that the other cards that we have that are earth and then we have water this is all about observing and keeping your eyes peeled and that there's something right with the crocodile there's something underneath the surface something underneath the water something that's been brewing something you may not be seeing 100 percent, or something other people aren't seeing that you're getting up to or you're pondering on you're planning whoa we're gonna get to the bottom of this but so you're noticing that there is some sort of pattern here I think you're taking a break or I think you are trying to come up with some sort of plan or solution on how to break this or change the situation or bring healing at least at the bare minimum you're going to bring healing for yourself um this is a very watery emotional time for you cancer definitely could be bringing up the waterworks mars is in cancer i don't know about you i'm having my mars return Whew, those crabby pinchers are coming out <laughs> like in my own personal life i am like I gotta hold myself back otherwise i know i'm gonna like pinch somebody or say the wrong thing or hurt somebody's feelings and i'm a scorpio rising so like my stinger has been up a little bit lately so i've been really trying to like i've been honestly in the zone too cancer sea zipper and the crocodile I'm like, okay what are these cycles and how can i not get sucked into this loop or sucked into this pattern or like you know fall back into old ways like that's literally what i've been dealing with myself Very <laughs> trying to keep my eyes peeled trying to like be aware and also be conscious of like hey maybe what i did here wasn't okay or maybe i should have you know 
communicated better or maybe i should have you know like i've I've also with the dragon i've also been trying to like look at things differently so maybe that's how you're doing too um dragon also is about paying attention to your health your wellness your fitness your diet really just taking better care of yourself um and your confidence right this is all about your confidence and your self-worth and you know your your value that you place on yourself or do you place your value in other people what they want from you um, some of you, there's something about people pleasing, or you could be an ex people pleaser, or you're lurking, lurking. <laughs> I said lurking. Somebody lurking. I meant to say you're working through like addressing things that could be a little bit uncomfortable. I do, I just see you're wanting to be soft. You're wanting to be gentle. If you're communicating something, you're wanting it to be like in a way that's compassionate and patient and reassuring or like you're not trying to be an asshole here at least that's what i'm seeing you're trying to communicate your truth in a way but are you being heard are you being heard cancer because lamb is a very silent gentle very 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 patient it's soft it's very soft it's very soothing think about like the wool of the lamb or is that a sheep that's a sheep okay <laughs> but still like i get this very soft gentle vibe you're communicating that way or you're maybe this is about if you're a parent if you have children you're wanting to like you know raise your kids differently than how you were raised right maybe you dealt with someone who would yell at you or cuss at you or call you bad things or really just beat you down and you're really trying to be consciously aware so that when you know your child grows up they they feel loved and they don't feel like ashamed for who they are like you know like i see you're very conscious of trying to create a new pattern that is full of love and healing and just lots of support and wholesomeness like it's very real it's very loving it's very caring so um there's a lot of inner work that you're doing this month that you're feeling your way through it could be an emotional time but it's also a very creative time for you even the sea serpent can represent like all time creativity inspiration hitting you um you know maybe at the oddest times like for for me you guys i'm doing this reading it's almost 10 p.m on tuesday uh, this reading will be up tomorrow morning but like i don't know lately i've been just like and normally i'm a night owl so i don't know i've just been called to really listen to when the timing's right and apparently nighttime i'm like really thriving with doing readings so i'm rolling with it and you know so even doing things the non-traditional way um you know you might be finding something there for you it might help benefit you in the long run so very cool even crocodile does talk about taking a break rest recuperation slow down you might be forced to slow down or you know i see you like easing off the gas pedal in some sort of direction in your life a stop to smell the roses is also what i'm hearing we have the owl at the bottom i'm not gonna spend too much too much time at the bottom because we already had so many cards come out but the owl does talk about like good fortune higher wisdom spiritual protection and being able to see your way through the darkness being able to also receive a lot of gifts and blessings from spirit from your angels your guides. this also sometimes it does talk about receiving some sort of like gift or token or like you know it could just be it may not be something huge or dramatic but it's something that means something to you it's very like it's treasure um like some of y'all maybe have found something you lost like months or years ago and you're like oh my god i missed this i like it could be a piece of jewelry or it could be like an item that you misplaced like some of y'all it's like you're you're reconnecting with something that was lost Ooh, very cool okay before we get into the tarot i will pull from a couple no 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 not a couple sorry i can't speak um from the everything oracle i will just pull a couple cards from this and then we'll get into the tarot see what your specific messages are okay all right let's get it show me clearly what's going on for cancer in october 2024 all right Show me clearly any messages for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, October 2024. Ooh, shout out. If you have a C, a W, Y, or V in your name or dealing with somebody with those initials, extra shout out to you. This is number, what is this, 84? 64. Maybe you're 64 years old or born 1964. Shout out to you. If that's you, if that applies, shout out to you. Maybe there's somebody with those initials that are important or connected to this reading. 
or you live in a city with that name or with the initial the letter we have still angry or hurt and that did fall on top of the crocodile and the dragon so you or someone you're connecting with obviously you'll know but somebody is still hurt somebody's still angry and therefore that's why they're not taking action or you're not taking action because there's still a lot of healing and thinking and reflecting to be done um somebody's not ready to move forwards just yet somebody is still trying to process the situation okay so patience patience with yourself patience with other people what's going on for cancer october 2024 happiness Ooh. well i see whoever's still like hurt or you know angry or upset there will be happiness or there will be some sort of freedom from the pain okay i'm seeing that you're also going to just have a lot more joyful moments in october lots more laughter lots more fun lots more harmony and appreciation just good vibes all the way around this is number 93 the other card was 25 if that's important for someone could be 25 maybe you're born 1993 we have temptation something's tempting you we have manifest you're being tempted to manifest something new or it's like you're getting this urge to do something or try something or you're being called down a certain path a certain direction to speak to somebody to like you're there's something here you're being called towards spirit says go for it like this is up your alley this is totally in your flow in your zone like you're being tempted for a reason why not give it a try why not explore this temptation this urge this natural urge this um you know this calling it, i see it's going to bring you happiness happiness and temptation you're tempted to go after something or manifest something that would make you happy or you know help you heal something stable as well coming in i see you coming into stability um maybe you have this temptation to shake things up if things have been really like stable and just like kind of same old same old or like you know it's been solid don't get me wrong but maybe you're craving a change single at the bottom if you're single maybe you're being called to put yourself out there go meet up with someone or go to go to have an event or like <laughs> go to go to oh my god can i speak go to an event have some fun meet some people or you know i see like shout out to the singles intuition your into what are you what's your intuition saying here oh 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 dark hair if you <laughs> something about dark hair what is the next one pregnancy oh some of y'all watch out for pregnancies or you might be pregnant or someone around you could be pregnant someone with dark hair maybe okay specific as fuck not gonna be for everybody um we're not gonna pull anymore that's just that's enough <laughs> that's enough um but you know just little extra messages let's get into the tarot let's see what else you can expect i'm just like trying to figure out i was like should i go yeah we're gonna go with this one okay that's why my my voice went up it was like expect i was like which deck do i use and i was like hmm but yeah no i'm good i'm good <sighs> show me clearly what's going on for cancer summer when i was leaving october 2024 well those two cards at the top tried to flip out at me they didn't but they tried to all right, show me clear messages for cancer. Y'all see that? This just flipped out. I didn't. I, I tried to stop it, but it couldn't. <laughs> so it's meant to be. I think these cards could be in the reverse here. Oh no, they ain't. We have Knight of Cups, Knight of Wands, Eight of Wands, Four of Wands. Whoa, whoa, wowzers! <laughs> Definitely feels like someone is in pursuit of happiness i'm in the pursuit of happiness <laughs> you know that song <laughs> i'm in the pursuit of happiness a happy home happy life happy wife wish fulfillment here someone's on the hunt you're on the hunt or someone is pursuing you cancer somebody has a message for you my dear um we're gonna see who this is who this knight is now describing this knight let's talk about it first of all the knight knight of cups was the first card out before we started peeking underneath knight of cups is a lover knight of cups is someone who has a lot of passion they're very creative they're very emotionally intelligent they are romantic they are expressive they are so charming and fun and flirtatious and you know this is someone who has like that poetic heart and they just see the good in all they see the good in people and they really just love love <laughs> we have then the knight of wands and so this is somebody who is extremely passionate when they are locked in like that's all they want sometimes they can be a little bit flighty sometimes they can't be like super super stable at times but you know 
it shows that this person with this combination they have their heart in the right place or like they have good intentions with their heart they know what they want well their heart is leading them to something and also lust there is a little bit of lustiness or like attraction is definitely high with this person this person is also very attractive to themselves um somebody here i see that they're moving with intention though they're moving with intention because we have the four of wands the eight of wands so somebody want i also do feel like someone could be moving fast someone might be trying to move fast um again watch out for that but there is this like grand plan is what i'm hearing there's a grand plan that this knight of cups knight of wands person has so again i don't know if this is you i don't know if this is someone that you are connected to or have recently met but it definitely feels like someone's in the pursuit um of you or you're in the pursuit of someone maybe this is a message waiting to come through or you could be um receiving in the near future right because there is something about communication here with the black egg there is some sort of like incoming message that either you are expressing or someone is expressing to you if you're the one receiving this message i see you're kind of in this limbo like wait observe what do i what do i feel what do i think what do i want to say um if you're the one initiating this this is something that you've been sitting pondering on for a while so if you're the one receiving this message the person coming through with the message has been thinking about it for a long time um or vice versa if you're making this message you've been thinking about this for a long time so <laughs> we have also leo energy at the bottom with strength this is someone again this is someone who is loyal someone who's committed somebody who's very loving caring compassionate supportive will have your back through the thick and thin um it's a beautiful energy of give and receive and you know i like that vibe so let's keep going and we'll clarify this on later on is what i meant to say there's too many cards show me clearly what's going on for cancer all right so we have this card empress and then this card fell on top of the empress the page of swords oh is there an energy imbalance we have a six of swords at the bottom what's this card king of wands okay not too shabby not too shabby <laughs> wait there's actually two cards sticking out knight of swords mm, i mean okay and actually i lied there's three cards what's this one ace of swords so see okay we're gonna actually take this because this is insightful of who is coming through because we do have like a mass masculine energy over here oh that ace of swords just try to flip itself away we have the masculine this could be with sagittarius or an air sign we have um gemini libra aquarius and then we have the empress and the page there's someone who has has their eyes on you their eyes are set on you look at how he's staring so let me let me move up real nice and close so y'all can see look at how he's just like intense stare <laughs> he's got this intense stare at you cancer i don't know what you're doing you're just like you're just chilling you're creating you're in your natural flow you're in your zone you're just creating all this beauty or connecting with nature connecting with animals really just honoring in your femininity or you're connecting with somebody like this and you're the one initiating this combo pursuing this beautiful empress remember the pregnancy card y'all watch out for that <laughs> watch out for that okay um but yeah so this is how it's come up oh i just knocked a knight where did the knight go and it's the knight of wands right this knight of wands he comes and he goes like that's the thing about the knight of wands he comes and he goes he's a little when we look at this card the volcano in the back he's a little unpredictable he's a little bit like he could explode at any time <laughs> that's what she said um like give a warning the fuck i'm just kidding but like yeah um anyways where the fuck let's see here that eight of wands from earlier right we had the four of wands eight of wands now we have this empress i'm seeing somebody really wants growth and wants this future and wants this plan to like come to fruition and really is imagining and visualizing and calling in and attracting and making the moves towards this future and also just like the eight of wands let's see let's go like this the four of wands eight of wands to the empress somebody really is like determined to have some sort of future um with you okay and so empress and the page of swords someone could be watching you online 
if you have any online presence or social media if you're public anywhere you posting anything on social media or just someone could be asking about you trying to find out you know <laughs> where do you well, where do you get your coffee <laughs> that's kind of creepy oh my god <laughs> don't be like joe from you that would be fucked up um but yeah no someone's trying to find some things out about you someone's trying to do their research and like just know more about you someone's intrigued you've really sparked their interest and i mean this person hmm i wonder with their mentality if they feel like you're out of their league not saying that they are below you or like that you're better than them or whatever i can't even speak y'all but like i'm wondering with their mentality this page of stories i'm wondering like they are a little immature or like i don't know will this empress find this page as attractive it's a question we'll have to clarify this and find out um because <laughs> The, the page is obviously their little boys or little girls like their their children and this is a grown ass woman like hello 911 catch a case <laughs> so that's not cute right that's not cute although this may just be representing an age gap or like an age difference this could be somebody that's like maybe not the typical person you would go after like not your usual type anywho the cards that were sticking out and i was like what let's see what this is we have a king of wands a knight of swords and the ace of swords so um you know what like this person is very confident they're moving in quite rash although they gave us some thought we've had that vibe from earlier they gave us some thought but now this is like once i got the the urge to do it then that's it like and there's no take backs and they mean what they're saying and they're very direct like they're very much direct like straight to the point not gonna waste your time not gonna beat around the bush just gonna flat out say this to you so get ready for that or you're the one flat out expressing this truth this big old truth bomb to somebody because you have your eyes on them and you know you want to make it known or they want to make it known to you so very interesting i'm actually gonna put that um on top or underneath this page of swords because i think that's i feel like that's this person's energy even the color is the blue coming through okay <clears throat> six of swords also at the bottom which is indicating here that oh my god i keep knocking these cards <laughs> they're so slippery um the six of swords at the bottom indicating movement let's get kind of like outcome vibes or see where this is headed where this is going there's a conversation being had let's see what the next thing is that comes out of this conversation or with this truth bomb how do you feel about it or how does this empress feel about it if you aren't the empress in this reading i would also just say with the lamb the crocodile like take your time be honest be direct speak of truth hmm no need to rush show me clearly what's going on for time so this is the next step this card flipped out four pentacles i mean i do see you holding back a little bit i do see you reserving i do see you're like we're not on sale <laughs> we're not on sale you gotta pay for the full price <laughs> that's funny two of pentacles yeah you're like indecisive about it you're like hmm am i feeling this let's see let's see two of pentacles five of pentacles mm, are you into this i don't know if you are six of cups is there connected to is this connected to the past is there like a history here or this is reminding you of something from your past either this is someone from your past or you, you got like history here and you're like mm, do i really want to open this door or is it just reminding you of a similar experience six of cups emperor oh do you feel like this person is like not as good as the last or like because you're looking but it looks like with the six of cups and the emperor you're comparing this to an emperor you had right with the empress to an emperor you're like but where's my emperor at like maybe um you're holding out for your maybe a reconnection for some of you you could be holding out for someone else okay so right now what i'm seeing like the first initial feelings about like this conversation or even this initiation um because i don't even see you're really giving into this you're kind of like reserving you're holding back you're like mm, you're not the person i want to hear from <laughs> or something like that okay so then what happens oh there we go 
Three of Pentacles, well, you might consider it. Three of Pentacles, you might entertain this. You might be like, okay, well, what's the harm? I'll put a little bit of energy into this. See, give it a taste. Do, is there a trial? Is there a sample I could have? You know, you go to Costco and they have the free sample. Free samples, bitch. It's not free. You pay that in the membership. But like, you're like, okay, l l maybe I'll... You, at first, you were like, Four of Pentacles. No, I'm reserving. I'm holding back. What do you want? Is this worth my energy? I don't have the time for this. My hands are full. And then you're like, you know what? Three of Pentacles. I'll give a little bit. Just a smidge. Just a little sprinkle. Okay. Let's see what I'm at the bottom. Three of Cups. Yeah, okay. Just enough to bring some joy. Makes you happy. You feel good about it. Let's see underneath there. The star. Okay, you know what? You're actually... The, the more energy you give into this, the more you actually start to see the positivity or you're curious about this let's see underneath the star this may be connected to a wish for oh the devil let's see it's that temptation card remember that temptation card from earlier temptation literally three of cups now do be mindful of third party situations too i gotta throw that out there or moving too fast because we have the chariot underneath the devil okay moving too quickly rushing into something that could end up becoming like a very deep contract that's hard to break away from whether that's a literal contract or just like energetic but okay but like yeah this is totally giving um <laughs> like temptation vibes in the air 1000 percent temptation like ooh, doesn't this look really good doesn't this make you feel happy doesn't this really light up your life like okay you, like i see you're getting tempted by this so i would you know look out <laughs> i let that double i'm like mm, this could get messy just saying let's let's see what else happens next show me clearly keep your eyes peeled right go back to the dragon um just really observe in all these cards well not all these cards but the three of the animal cards the three last animal cards the eyes are really coming through use your eyes use your discernment use your third eye as well you not only do you have two eyeballs hopefully maybe not everybody has two eyes to be honest <laughs> let's do this you never know who's listening so shout out to you if you only got one <laughs> but like anyways um what was i saying i don't know i got distracted by that little silly comment okay next thing nine of wands this fell also on the lamb where it's like you're gonna have to work for it you not not saying you have to work for it it's like whoever you're dealing with they're gonna have to prove themselves we have to start at the bottom again that whoever this is they're gonna have to really prove themselves um and like why am i thinking of like you know car sales guys like you gotta convince me that this is gonna be worth the effort like i'll put a little bit of effort in someone might be trying let me see the star the chariot oh the devil's gone now we love that's gone good good nine of cup nine of pentacles my bad i'm seeing whoever i'm connecting to or reading for you could be feeling kind of lonely or disconnected like you're you're well off like nine of pentacles you're well off you're stable you're secure you got the bag your house is great you know you you're very well off for yourself you're very stable remember that card from earlier stable right um someone might be asking you for help or financial help or someone could be sick you might be sick or someone could be sick or somebody here might be needing help or financial help um emperor wheel of fortune i'm seeing a huge increase whoa i'm seeing this is so off topic i'm seeing an increase in like your finances your career your status this is not focusing can y'all focus new settings y'all new settings so bear with me okay whatever it doesn't matter it don't matter but anyways yeah it's kind of like whatever is being offered you're already pretty well off and so you're like well it's gonna have to be better than this five of pentacles because i'm already here thriving and like whatever you're offering it better be better it it's got to be better than this because i don't want to backtrack or lower my standards or something like that okay um let's see what they're saying to you um hold on where are we at the time okay yeah we got time first of all let me get a little let me s see who this knight person is let's get a little bit more info on who this could be because we did kind of pick up on like a potential past energy for a few of you but also this might just be similar to a past person and maybe a completely new person but someone who reminds you of a past 
connection. So let's see. Tell me that the Knight of Cups, Knight of Wands. Who is this Knight? Tell me more about this Knight. Knight of Cups, Knight of Wands. Knight of Cups, Wands. Not a quans. Cups and wands. Quans. Not a quan. <laughs> Tell me about the Knight of Cups, Knight of Wands. Who is this? Tell us more about who this person is, what their intentions are. Five of Wands. Oh, oh. Five of Wands in the reverse with the Ten of Cups, and it flips itself in the reverse. I feel like this could be either this is someone who you have history with. Or this is someone who has troubled issues with their family or a living situation. Or this is someone who could be, oh, remember we were picking up on like potential, poten this is not going to be for everybody, okay? Take this with a grain of salt. But remember how we had the devil and the three of cups and the star and I was like, hmm, be mindful of third party situations. I'm wondering, is this someone trying to run away from a like, um, a family situation or they're like, married life or like the runaway bride is what i'm hearing like someone is this somebody trying to escape their life by using you as a distraction i would hope not i would hope not i'm not really so far clarifying this oh you know what <laughs> my deck was actually upside down y'all y'all see this my deck was upside down okay so let, me trying to give this knight the benefit of the doubt okay let me let me flip her back up let's try again okay Let's try again. Tell me <laughs> that might just be a specific specific message for someone to tell me about this Knight of Cups, Knight of Wands. What are their intentions? If this is someone from your past, they may be trying to mend things, right? Five of Wands Reverse is all about resolution and coming to some sort of peace, especially if Ten of Cups Reverse, there's been unhappiness, there's been lack of joy, if there's been a lot of hurt feelings, pain, instability, lack of trust. Someone maybe is trying to resolve that or rebuild it with you um so another way to look at that okay knight of cups knight of wands who is this person what are their intentions knight of cups knight of wands <laughs> knight of wands coming out again double whammy double whammy okay we are right about the knight of wands i'm not going to say it again five of pentacles at the bottom is this someone that is either lonely or is this someone who has felt a disconnect from you aka there's some history here let's take a peek tower someone who had a realization in a period of separation well you better have had some sort of realization if you've been in separation you better been thinking about your life and your decisions that you made and the consequent like what if not what the hell are you doing getting back here move along like two of swords not a wands two of swords well this is someone who's been kind of again is this representing someone who's been on the fence they're a little bit wishy-washy knight of cups not a wands who's this person wheel of fortune they want change here they are in this process of creating change with you or they would like to create change with the three of swords and also the queen of wands well they see you i mean they see you as someone who is very compatible with them they see that again though they see like you're out of their league or like they kind of place you up here oh wait hold on one card um have a, let me just put this three of swords for down for a second they kind of yeah they kind of see you as someone who's like above them hmm or vice versa you see this person as someone who's above you mm. ick kind of icky vibes anyways i'm also seeing that this is someone who is like in pain or hurt or like regretful suffering in a way huh all right what are they saying page of, not page of swords ace of swords what are they communicating here ace of cups also at the bottom just when i took a peek not it's flipping right out oh my god stop <laughs> put you back in there talk about this ace of swords we're gonna wrap your reading up in a couple minutes ace of swords for cancer okay there we go three cups well they they definitely want to have a good time they want to reunite they want to be on good terms they definitely want to clear any bad vibes bad air bad energy um they definitely would like to have fun and be friendly with you um they have fond memories with you you make them laugh so of pentacles is like they've been waiting for the right opportunity to get this off their chest kind of this ace of swords for cancer seven of cups 
it fell out sideways. I feel like this could be somebody who is trying to get clarity, trying to get closure, trying to also understand how you're feeling, what you're doing, how this is affected. Like, they, I feel like this is somebody who's on the search for clues or clarity or, like, trying to get to the bottom of the situation. Um, this person is also in the process of, like, lowering down their options if they have any. And they are hoping through this conversation is going to illuminate like which cup to choose, whether it's with you or someone else or something else. If it's not another, another person. Tell me about the Ace of Swords for Cancer. What's this Ace of Swords about? <laughs> Again, again, Ace of Swords with Ace of Swords. Well, this is truthful. This is truthful. This is honest. This is no bullshit. Let's see what's at the bottom chariot oh yeah this is very direct you guys this is gonna be some very direct message no games no bullshit no diddle daddling like this is just the freaking truth and nothing but the truth you may also be dealing with another cancer someone with cancer in placements but actually someone could even be traveling to come see you but there's definitely like direct movement um Moving towards you, Queen of Cups. Okay, so real quick, we gotta wrap this up. But uh, this Three of Pentacles, because I'm like, all right, looks like you might, you might, you're gonna kind of hold back for a little bit, or you're gonna really sit and think and contemplate. But then Three of Pentacles, I do see you potentially giving this even just an inch. Although I just heard, give an inch, they'll take a mile. So do have healthy boundaries, and maybe that's what the Nine of Wands is about, where it's like these are the lines you can't cross. Um, you know, that's really crucial here. So boundaries, 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 y'all. <sighs> Don't let anybody disrespect or cross them. Real quick, let's see this Three of Pentacles. So if Cancer, or whoever I'm speaking to, cross watcher as well, if they choose to give energy to this, even just a little bit, what would come out of this? Three of Pentacles, please. What can Cancer expect putting energy into this? Three of Pentacles. You know, even with the nine of wands, I mean, it could be it could be saying that it would take a lot of work to get on the same page or for this to move anywhere. It would take quite a bit of effort. So it's like, do you really want that? I don't know. Let's see. Three of pentacles for cancer. Three of pentacles for cancer. Tower and a sideways. Hmm. it shows that there's the potential for this to be different or for this to be a, like a shocking surprise and you'd be very like impressed let's see what's actually at the bottom hermit hmm you might need to go inwards about this um because i'm seeing like there's a the potential for things to be different but then there's also the potential because this came out sideways this also has the potential for history to pe repeat itself where it's like the same old shit hmm tricky tricky Permit. so go inwards a little bit more really tune into what is your higher self saying what was your okay when this came through when the, whenever and this may not happen just yet it might be like tomorrow it might be a week from now it depends right everyone's on different timelines but pay very close attention to what is your initial reaction to this what's your initial feeling is it oh my god i'm so happy or is it like what the fuck <laughs> that will be your indicator i swear to god that will be your indicator pay very close attention to that um some of y'all have been expecting this though three of wands or like you knew it was only a matter of time anything else about this three see judgment and it fell out sideways it's neither up or reverse it's like it shows that there's a potential or it's like in some ways things will be different but in some ways it's the same shit hmm Let's try one last time. One last time. <laughs> Eight of Wands at the bottom. Three of Pentacles for Cancer. Three of Pentacles for Cancer. Cancer would put energy into this. I swear to God, I seen that. Oh, it's the Ten of Wands. If Cancer would put energy into this, what could Cancer expect? Three of Pentacles. Anything? Three of Pentacles for Cancer. Eight of Pentacles. Two of Wands. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be your choice it's literally your call it's literally your decision <laughs> it's up to you you can choose it's literally your choice two of wands with the eight of pentacles you could put more energy into this or you can choose not to there is also with the two of wands it does talk i'm repeating myself i'm gonna wrap this video up but it does talk it's like you either choose the world and the cycle is over and a new one begins or you continue on this path and maybe it's the same old shit let's take a peek empress well it's showing that whatever 
you choose it's going to lead to your own personal growth and development and transformation oh, but there is something that needs to be released or in order for this situation to really flourish or grow there is going to be a lot of work um it may not come easy oh, i don't know i feel like is it really worth the sweat and blood and tears is it because look at this town once he's struggling he's, he's got rips in his clothes he's tired his back's probably aching like <laughs> So ask yourself, as an empress, as an emperor, is this worth it? Ten of Wands, let's see what's underneath that. I gotta let this ending, I gotta re wrap this reading up. Maybe it is, maybe it isn't. Honestly, it's gonna vary. You gotta make your own choice. Trust yourself, trust your gut, trust your intuition, Cancer. I wish I could help you more, but that is all we got. So <laughs> thank you for all the love and support. Have a fabulous day. Leave a like, comment, subscribe. Um, and I will talk to you in your next reading. Bye.